An atomic bomb breaks loose from a mounting shackle in a B-47 jet over Florence, South Carolina, plummets to earth, causing a sensational freak accident. There was near disaster for those within range of the TNT, that is the bomb's trigger. Six were injured. The home of Walter Gregg was turned into a shambles. In the Gregg yard, the blast tore a 35-foot deep crater. But despite the havoc, authorities emphasized the explosion was not a nuclear blast. The bomb was not assembled for firing, standard procedure during transportation. No accident could make it explode, and there was no fission, no radioactive fission products revealed as the Air Force scoured the area in an intensive search for any information of value following the first accident of its kind in history. Automation, long a prediction, is revealed as reality. In this first plant of its kind, production is automatic, entirely controlled by electronics. A typewriter-like keyboard is the master control, setting out data and instructions on a punched tape, which in turn feeds the electronic computer. The computer translates the punch tape and sends the results directly into the machine tool production line, issuing coded instructions, automatically checking results. For example, the proper size drill is selected and moved into position. This new system, developed by the Hughes Aircraft Company, makes the use of precision mass production techniques possible for small plants. By cutting the time between the engineering work on a given part and its production, it cuts costs as well. Only occasional inspections and quality control checks are needed to make sure that everything stays on the beam in the electronically operated factory. 